Why should you understand what is actually happening at a macro and microeconomic level in America? Because Jerome Powell is taking us into deep waters. This is a huge warning. What I'm going to show you is the facts, figures, numbers, logic, and why the biggest asset managers in the world went from Bitcoin is used for money laundering. It's a fraud to them rushing into it as a legit asset class. And some countries are radically transforming their financial system, their ecosystem, and becoming some of the safest countries in the world. Isn't it interesting that they told you to look this way as they were pumping their bags this way? But I'm going to show you the lead into why this is going to be the biggest bull run in history. And number two, at the end, exactly what I'm doing to protect my family's wealth and take advantage of the biggest shift in generational wealth. Let's dive in. So the first thing that I want to show you, this is really, really important, okay? This is going to take us all the way from 1913. You can all pull this. This is on the Federal Reserve website, okay? This is the Federal Reserve website, 1913. This is the consumer price index for all urban consumer, purchasing power of the consumer dollar in the U.S. city average. 1913, the Federal Reserve was created. All the way down, if you go all the way down here to 2024, if you look at this, do you see this over here? It goes all the way down to zero. We have 3% purchasing power left of the U.S. dollar. That's the number one thing you need to write down. We have 3% left of purchasing power of the U.S. dollar. Number two, this is the total debt balance as of Q1 2020. 24. It is at an all time high. Look at this, guys. This is non household debt and then household debts in blue. This is massive. The consumer credit index is at an all time high. Credit cards are maxed. Our purchasing power is down to 3% for the US dollar. Okay, it gets worse. Check this out. If you haven't been paying attention, 35 as of 1024, 30. Five trillion in debt. Debt held by the public is 28 trillion. Intergovernmental governmental debt is 7 trillion. And the interest on the debt is 4 trillion. We collect, wait, we get, the interest on the debt is 5 trillion and we collect 4 trillion in taxes. We don't collect enough in taxes to even pay the interest on the debt. So, number one, the purchasing power of the dollar has gone down to 3%. Number two, Consumer household debt is at an all-time high. Consumer credit index is at an all-time high. Credit cards are maxed. Number three is governmental and household debts at $35 trillion. We have more debt than we have income, which is GDP to debt ratio. Okay, Check this out. This is where it gets funky. So when Jerome Powell continues to lower interest rates, and I'm going to give you those dates in just a second. We're two weeks away from that. This is the M2 money supply, okay? If you look right here, these are recessions. So see the gray area right here? This was the 2008 recession, but look is what's happened. Boom, recession, recession, recession. Printing machine has just gone full blast. Now, the thing that you need to look at is in 1971 back here, we detached from the gold standard. So when they detached from the gold standard, if you look at the wealth gap from 1971 to boom, 2024, 2020, they turned it on full blast. You see the little mini recession right here. If you go right here, they came down. Now this is what you need to pay attention to. They're turning the money supply back on. So if you look at this little dot right here, August 2024, it is September 2024. I haven't seen the October report yet. Oh, it's not done yet. October's not done. But we see in August, we know September. So they're now turning the printing machine back on after they completely shut it off. Okay. The next thing you need to pay attention to is this right here. So September 2024, the Fed meeting, Fed's cut rate by a half a point, okay? So the next one is going to be November 6th and 7th, I believe. The, my point was pulling this up for the next one. I don't know if it's on here. November 6th and 7th is going to be the next one. So right after the presidential election, I don't see it on here, but I believe it's November 6th and 7th. So here, oh, sorry, I wasn't even showing you the guys that. There you go. Okay. Now here's what I want you to pay attention to. Here's why. So... It's not important 
It's more important than getting into crypto and trying to get rich quick. It's more important of why are you getting into something? Why are you investing in XRP? Why are you investing in Bitcoin? Everybody's on Twitter. It's like, oh, I want to get rich quick. Guys, you have to know why you're invested in something. Once you know why and you understand macroeconomics, that's how you build wealth. Because if you give a million dollars to every single person in society, it's going to end up in the same 1% hand, Jim Rohn. Because financial literacy is the most important thing. Okay, so check this out. This is what's happening to other countries that are now using Bitcoin. Kaiser Max. So you say El Salvador through Bitcoin is now achieving the American dream. Explain it to us. The Salvadoran dream is alive and well. Charles, they actually have reverse migration at the southern border. More people are going to El Salvador than the other way around because we've got economic freedom here. We've got freedom of speech here. We're paying down our debt. The economy is growing. Inflation is under 1%. Uh, President Bukele is the most popular leader in the world. It's the safest country in the Western Hemisphere right now. It's safer than Disneyland to come to El Salvador. You have a greater risk of getting mugged in Disneyland than getting attacked here in El Salvador, Charles. You know, Max, uh, uh, our housekeeper is from El Salvador. She became an American citizen three years ago, but she always talks about going back to her country. And she came back recently from a visit. She said that not only is Bukali, to your point, his approval rating is like 93%, but that all the countries around El Salvador would love for him to be their president as well. I mean, is it that good? The other countries, the most popular president in these other countries, like Chile and Guatemala, Honduras, is Najib Bukele, the president of El Salvador, because he exemplifies what you want in a leader. He's decisive, he's courageous, he's charismatic, and he's super smart, and he's working for the people. He's reducing the size of government. He's building beautiful public works like the new library down in the historic center of El Salvador. Look, Charles, when Bukele went after the gangs about two years ago. Yeah, so he goes in the whole, we, we've showed that on the channel here, but the point is these countries are using Bitcoin to break free from the West dominance. Okay. Now I was going to show well, it's, 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 $3 million. Let me just, we have here's some price targets. So they're saying $3 million in 2050. Um, you've heard Kathy Woods say 2.8 million. Now that's, that's way down the road, but think about this. When I talk about Bitcoin, I'm talking about the whole crypto ecosystem guys, because Bitcoin drives the market. Then it goes into all the alternative coins. Bitcoin to me is like holding a piece of history, something that is a new, the whole crypto is a new infrastructure of the financial system, but these price predictions are realistic. We have a model that assumes that by 2050, this is very long term, that Bitcoin becomes a reserve asset that's used in global trade and held by global central banks at a very modest 2% weight. And in that model, we arrive at a $3 million price target for Bitcoin. Now, that sounds you know, extreme, but that's a 16% compound annual growth rate for a couple decades. You know? hey, that's what I want you guys to hear. And that's where I want to lead you into this conversation of what I'm doing. Okay. There's rules to money. One he just mentioned, compound growth rate. Money compounds every seven years at 10%. It's the eighth wonder of the world, Einstein compound interest. So here's what I do. Pay attention to what I do. I pull in the high risk, high return times. It's very volatile still. First they resist it, then they sue it, then they regulate it, then they join it. We're in regulation and joining phase now. Okay. This is the, the, the still a little bit of a wild, wild west bull run. So you're going to see massive price appreciation here in probably less than a month. It's going to go up back into 2024. Bitcoin will lead the market and then it'll flood into altcoins. We'll have all, all other cryptos. Alt season will be in first quarter. There's going to be huge parabolic moves. Okay. I pull and I use the eighth wonder of the world. I pull it down the risk pyramid into tier one capital. I use, I take the house money out of the casino. Boom. I bring it down. I use cash value life insurance. I stack it into my cash value life insurance. I have insurance policies ready to max fund. Why do I do that? The eighth wonder of the world, compound interest. Every seven years at 10%, money doubles. On average, I'm getting anywhere from eight to 10%. Okay. So now I have number two is the principal is insured. My principal is insured. So if the markets come collapsing down 2025, 2026, it's indexed. It stops at my principal. 
So when everybody's falling down 30, 40%, I'm stopped at my principal. When we come back to reset, I'm growing again, right? And then number three, I can borrow against my cash value, which is multiplying my money, richest man in Babylon. So I have access to the cash value if I need access to the liquidity. And so I can tap in to my own bank and I can buy more assets, okay? And then the other model that I use is things that I want. I wait, but I say, if I want something, I said, do I want it? Do I need it? Okay. I want a wake boat. Me and my kids love being on the boat, right? We love going out to the boat. We love, so we rent a boat. I want a wake boat. Those things are like $150,000. It's crazy. I want it, but I don't need it. So until I have an asset that can pay for the want, I won't buy it. I don't buy liabilities unless an asset can pay for it. It takes patience. It takes persistence. So it's a long-term game. All of you need to read the book, Money Mindset. Very, very important because I run into so many people in the cryptocurrency space. And the reason why is many influencers are very, very wealthy during the bull market. And then they're broke during the bear market because they spend all their money on stuff to make it look like they're rich, Lambos and big houses. And they don't understand the power of diversification outside crypto, compound, right? True wealth, generational wealth. And number three, is during the bear market, they're trying to pump cryptos so they can repeat the process. What you should be doing is taking your high profits, high returns, moving it down, securing it, diversifying in different asset classes, whether it's real estate, you can diversify in real estate, you can diversify in precious metals, you can have some gold, some silver. I use Bitcoin as my gold. People push back on that, but that's what I do. I have silver and I use Bitcoin as my gold. We're going into real estate. I want to diversify in real estate. It's not my expertise yet, but we're heading into that realm. Um, yeah, I'm diversified in business too. information, technology, attention, and education. So it's a very simple strategy. I started using in 2020 to 2022 and it's worked really well for me. Right? So now I built the foundation and now I just follow my plan. Non-emotional. If it doesn't go up, I don't exit. If it comes collapsing down, I buy more. I hold 50% of all my coins, my alternative coins forever, holding my Bitcoin forever. Super simple. Love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go. Love you guys. Remember, I want to say this on every video. I will never DM you proactively. I'll never ask about your crypto. That's not me on Telegram. That's not me on WhatsApp. We do not have a trading platform. We'll never ask you to send us money personally ever. Okay. What we do have is a needs assessment down in the description of this video or my social media platform. What is the needs assessment? We get hundreds of messages on how I insure my wealth with cash value life insurance. Okay. I use term to secure my family. I use cash value to secure my money and compound my wealth. Okay. But it's more important of what you need. What I do may not work for you. Your situation may be different. So my team can sit down with you and do a full needs assessment and look at retirement strategies for you and help you dream and figure this, this ecosystem and out and how we do these things. Okay. So when you fill that out, they'll text you, call you, email, you will never send them money directly. It's a free consultation. Number two is if you want to get your shit together, join my 120 day challenge. It's down below or in my social media platform. You'll see the coach JV Academy, join my 120 day challenge, put the blinders on next four months from this video. That'll take you into March. You will be shocked on how much your life will change. If you put blinders on, you get focused and you go through my 120 challenge, it will be absolutely life-changing for you and your family. We've helped close to, we're coming up on 9,000 people worldwide since 2020. And I hope to be you next. Warriors, rise, get your shit together.